The objective of this video is to show you how to apply additional functionality to the simple reports to make them more powerful. We will start by creating a simple report using the new report editor. Add the entity to the row axis and product to the column axis. Then press OK. This will create a simple report with entity on the rows and products on columns. Let's look at how we can control which members are displayed in the rows and columns. Click on Edit Report. Click on Entity, which shows in the Member section area the context World, Member and Children. We are going to remove this by clicking on the left arrow. Select World and then click the drop-down for the relationship to view the different options, which I will now explain. Member only will only take the member selected. Member and children will take the member selected and the next level down in the hierarchy. Children will take the next level down only. Member and descendants will take the member and all the members below it in the hierarchy. Descendants will take everything below the selected member. Base level will take the lowest level for the selected member. Same level, everything at the same level in the hierarchy, regardless of parent. Siblings, everything at the same level in the hierarchy with a common parent. Member and ascendants, this will take the member selected and all the hierarchy nodes above it. Ascendants only, will take all the hierarchy nodes above the selected member. Member and base level, this will take the selected member and the base members. Member offset, this will take the previous or subsequent member depending on the offset entered. Member property, this will filter depending on a specific property of a different dimension. We will not go into detail for all of them, but you can experiment in your own time. One thing to note is that if you have not made a selection, then the list available to you is different. And these items can also be used in your reporting. All members, every member in the dimension. Base level, every base level member in the dimension. Blank member, a blank row or column to break up your report. Dimension property, using a property in another dimension to drive the members in this dimension. We will now look at the base level of world and add it by pressing the right arrow followed by OK. Now when we view the report, all of the lowest level items are displayed. We will format in Excel to add commas to the numbers. We are now going to look at some additional functionality. On the column axis, we will use the total products to sort the report. To sort the report, we will use the EPM report editor and click on the sorting tab making sure to click on the sort data using the following criteria option. We want to sort the data from largest to smallest. So we will click descending and the last column followed by OK. Now the report shows sorted numbers from largest to smallest for column K, which we are going to now filter to show only numbers over 400,000 in local currency. To do this, go to Edit Report and click the Filtering tab, making sure that the option to filter data using the following criteria is checked. We are using the values in the column for total products that are larger than 400,000. Make sure to click Add Criteria so that the data can be filtered accordingly. Click OK and you will see the data is now filtered according to the criteria. 
We will use the Ranking tab from the Report Editor to show the top five values from the last column. Again, making sure to check Ranking Data using the following criteria for the top five. The report will now show the top five entities that have a total products greater than 400,000 from largest to smallest. The next tab we are going to look at is Local Members. This allows us to put calculations into our report, which will be dynamic when we change the selection. The easiest way of doing this is to ensure that we have Activate Local Member Recognition turned on. Go to Sheet Options and turn on Activate Local Member Recognition. Find the last row and put a formula in which calculates the average of all the members. You will now see that this formula is given a name and then carried across the other columns. If you go to the Edit Report and select the local members, you can see that a member has been created. You can edit the local member by changing the name to Average and refreshing your report. If we now go back to the Report Editor and select Product, select Eco, and the base level members. You can now see that the local member has remained and is showing the correct formula. I hope that this tutorial has been helpful.